Hi guys, so today um, it's going to be uh, helping you with align all your chakras so that any blockages within different chakra points can help you uh, release yourself from these um, patterning that you're suffering with at this moment or any emotional triggers that you're going through. So this is a supportive measures for your healing empowerment journey at this time. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use sounds that is connected to each different chakras. So you can look it up uh, what chakra means. These are energy points and basically we all have them. And the root chakra is at the bottom of your pelvis and just above is your sacral chakra, which is connected to your self-worth, creativity, it's color orange. The root chakra is red, which is connected to your sense of security, um, safety within, thus you can trust. And the solar plexus is in your stomach area, which is a color yellow. That's related to your self-confidence, self-worth, once again and this is heart chakra is usually green or pinkish color and you know this is about unconditional love empathy understanding compassion this is your throat chakra that's related to your authentic self-expression speaking truth opening up to truth and this is your third eye seeing through the illusion of things uh, you know from duality consciousness once you integrate you see this three triangle here that these two represent duality consciousness of better or worse right or wrong which we are living in right now as an experiment on a soul level so you are here to play this role basically to experiment what it's like to uh, live in duality consciousness and to integrate so the triangle the mind body and spirit in alignment and then the crown chakra connected to the higher um, upper realm that is connected to the, your higher self the cosmos the higher consciousness that is all available for you and you need to work on your lower chakras in order to open up the upper chakras basically and then it's interconnected and then um, you can connect your um, heart chakra with solar plexus, heart chakra with throat. And so unless we don't, we feel safe and unless we feel healed with our inner child that we are being playful, we are able to express, be creative once again and then feel confident to do so, this is opening up. And then you can really open this up throughout this, this throat chakra. So, what I was guided to do specifically for today was to align all these chakras through the sound that's related to each energy point and then um, especially work on removing or helping remove some of the persecution imprints that's related to your throat chakra that's blocking a lot of people and star seeds um, who are healers actually or who already have all this knowledge that they can't come out as their true self or get onto their soul mission. So I'm gonna help uh, you guys with that. And if you're drawn to watching this, or if you are here, and even though you don't know what star seed means and is yet, you are likely one because there's a vibration that is pulling you to this video. So um, first, always we are going to take a deep breath in and out you can breathe in slowly through the nose and then breathe out slowly through the mouth and you want to go deep inside your gut at the bottom of your stomach and then release and as you do so you can use your power of intention to intend to release anything that doesn't serve you, any energies that are in lower vibrations in nature, like fear, doubt, anxiety, guilt, shame, whatever that you're resonating at this moment that is blocking your flow to help with your healing right now. And then you're going to ready your body to be in a state of receptivity basically because you are now more relaxed open 
and then you can just repeat after me. I'm going to explain afterwards. So we're going to go from root to up. Okay, so Ram. And as you make the sound, you want to connect your body and feel the vibration in that area. Ram. 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 Yam. Ham. One more time. Ram, 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 Yam, Ham, Om, Aum. So I'm going to do some sounds. You can just listen or you can follow or repeat after me. Rao So what you just did was to realign all your chakras and release any of the energies that are not in flow, meaning stuck, which is usually lower vibration like fear, guilt, shame, uh, anxiety. And when you do this, you are basically putting order within yourself, within your system that we call peace. So when we are in order, we are in peace. And when we are not in order, we are in chaos, but everything serves a purpose. Peace serves a purpose, chaos serves a purpose. With the chaos, we learn to integrate. You see? So everything serves a purpose, but in order for us to get back to who we are, we need to go within and we need to find order within ourselves. And that's what we are doing. We are going through a healing right now. A lot of people are feeling triggered right now and going through difficult or emotional situations and distress and stress and depression and anxiety somehow. All these emotional energies that need to be balanced. And if you are actually having these moments, the counterintuitive aspect that I want to introduce you from a larger, higher perspective is that if you are here on earth right now, you only are here invitation only. So not many can come in, even though they want to be here because this is a very unique experience that never happened before in the entire history of the universe and once you are here we can clear karma so quickly in just one lifetime right now that's why a lot of souls want to experience this but gaia only invites souls who are uh, meant to be here at this time basically so it is actually an honor and a privilege for you to experience this because unless we feel this pain and any of the emotions that are stuck that are coming to the surface we will be stuck with it meaning carry on to our next lifetime and then we have to replay everything and because we are energy we are spirit in essence and what we are doing is we are transforming by going into our essence not just change forms meaning change bodies with next reincarnation cycle so we are transforming our energy, meaning evolving our soul and spirit by living this duality right now. And so if you are experiencing triggers um, in a way that you can see it as a blessing in disguise, because if you don't feel anything and you're just like, oh, I don't feel anything, I'm cool, right? 
Well, if you're feeling a lot of pain, that means you're releasing. And that means you're about to transform. That means you're given the opportunities to release karma in this lifetime. Basically, that's what we are doing. We are aligning order within ourselves. In regards to um, starseed persecution imprint that's related to throat chakra, which I experienced as well when I was waking up. And this one is usually because we have been living many other lifetimes in other places and on earth for a mission. And we came here with a mission to speak our truth, spread light basically. But then because this is a very heavy uh, karma dense um, duality consciousness based planet, we've been persecuted, we've been punished. Um, therefore, we hold a lot of fear here to speak our truth. And this is related to also um, your soul mission in this lifetime. And so when we hold a lot of fear to speak our truth, this part is blocked. And particularly, I was guided to do this light code activation for this part that I connected with Arcturus last night. Uh, with their healing technologies uh, in their spacecraft. My spirit team changed and I'm going to work more uh, with Arcturus. And so um, I was guided to do this specifically for anyone who's going to be drawn to this video. Okay, so let me connect. So basically what I did was um, I there's a lot of reptilian energy that I witnessed as I was doing this so I'm pulling out that survival consciousness that's in our DNA and then clearing our lower chakras a little bit balancing it out so that we can bring this energy to this area and then connecting also the higher chakras and then clearing this so uh, this is supportive measure so usually from my experience just by doing this one time um, it's not going to take away everything and it all depends on your personal work as well whether you are meditating on a regular basis doing breath work connecting with yourself and you can use this video to do that sound vibration alignment every day for the next 30 days to feel the change within yourself because the more you align yourself that way go within you are clearing up everything and it's going to speed up your healing process and activate your soul gifts and talents as a result of that and when you align all your chakras like that what's going to happen is you're going to start feeling lighter and every time you're feeling triggered and you're going into the lower vibrational energy now you can release and realign and heal those aspects yourself so i'm giving you this tool right now so you can use them and when you do so you're also not only clearing it and aligning your heart chakra but also you're connecting your 
to your essence that is your higher self and consciousness without you realizing and what you can do is you can always use your power of intention to connect to this energy or you can always set an intention I intend to release so and so uh, and so it is done and when you say that it is done that's how powerful you are and we don't believe this when we are in a lot of duality consciousness patterning because we are living with a lot of fear self-doubt all this programming that is blocking us from realizing or tapping into our essence that is the spirit and so um, once you intend or once you practice using this power of intentions every time you are activating something in your soul and it will come out one by one in divine timing so I don't want you to try to overdo anything meaning wanting to know everything trying to seek what it is right going to the mind is a temptation of the ego and you're gonna get distracted so always trust that all the information everything that you need will be provided and will come in in exact divine right timing and so that is why you're always where you need to be exactly at every single moment and you want to start to connect with the divine so that you can co-create with the divine you can co-create with the universe that goes beyond the 3d matrix and also shift to your highest timeline at this time so um, if you have any questions you can leave them down below I'll be happy to uh, answer your questions and um, let me know how it felt for you if you resonated and if you are cool to share of course so um, that's all for today and I'll see you in the next video guys bye